The development of the Armored Personnel Carrier EE-11 Urutu was initiated in 1970 by the Brazilian company Ingisa. This Brazilian military vehicle takes its name from the crossed pit viper. The first prototype was constructed in the same year, and production of the EE-11 Urutu commenced in 1974. Initially, it was manufactured for the Brazilian Armed Forces, but it later garnered international interest, leading to production orders from other countries such as Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Cyprus, Ecuador, Gabon, Iraq, Libya, Morocco, Uruguay, and Venezuela. Approximately 1,500 units of this vehicle were built. This armored personnel carrier possesses a unique twin-layer armor configuration. The outer layer is constructed from hardened steel, while the inner armor boasts enhanced toughness. Additionally, the placement of the engine at the front enhances passive protection for the occupants. The front hull offers resistance against armor-penetrating projectiles, while the all-around shielding guards against small arms bullets, mine fragments, and artillery splinters. Equipped with an automatic fire suppression system, the EE-11 Urutu also offered the option of an NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, protection system. Mounted atop the roof, the EE-11 Urutu is armed with a single 12.7mm machine gun. There exist multiple variants of the EE-11, each featuring various turret-mounted armaments. With a crew of one, this armored personnel carrier can transport between 12 to 14 fully equipped troops. Troop ingress and egress can be accomplished through side or rear doors, as well as roof hatches, which also include a number of firing ports. Propelled by a Detroit Diesel 6V-53T engine producing 260 horsepower, some units were equipped with a Mercedes-Benz OM-32A diesel engine generating 190 horsepower. The design of this APC shares numerous automotive components with the EE-9 Cascavel armored car, a vehicle developed alongside the EE-11. The Urutu incorporates an unconventional boomerang-style rear suspension system, designed by Ngisa and utilized in other vehicles as well. This suspension contributes to excellent off-road mobility. The vehicle also features a central tire inflation system. Remarkably, the EE-11 Urutu is fully amphibious without requiring any prior preparation. For land-based vehicles, propulsion in water is achieved through the wheels, although the maximum water speed is only 2 km per hour. However, the marine variant of the Urutu is equipped with two water jets, allowing it to achieve an amphibious speed of 8 km per hour. In 1999, the Brazilian Army initiated a study to find replacements for both the EE-11 Urutu Armored Personnel Carrier and the EE-9 Cascavel Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle. By that time, these vehicles had been in service for nearly 25 years and were becoming outdated. In 2007, a contract was signed to develop a new Brazilian armored vehicle, initially known as the Urota 3 but later renamed the Guarani. The development concluded in 2011, and the first batch was ordered for the Brazilian Army in 2012. These vehicles were delivered between 2013 and 2014 and gradually replaced the EE-9 and EE-11. Mass production of the Guarani started in 2013, and by 2019, 400 units had been supplied to the Brazilian military. Variants of the EE-11 Urutu include an armored ambulance, a command vehicle, the EE-9 Cascavel Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle, which shares many components with the Urutu, a fire support vehicle with a 90mm turret like the one on the EE-9 Cascavel, mortar carriers equipped with 81mm or turret-mounted 60mm mortars, an anti-aircraft vehicle with twin 20mm cannons, a recovery vehicle, a logistics vehicle with a cargo capacity of up to 2 tons that retains amphibious capabilities even when fully loaded, an internal security vehicle featuring an obstacle clearing blade and armed with a 7.62mm machine gun, and the EE-11VE, a Venezuelan upgraded version of the Urotu. 
The EE-11VE includes a bulky add-on armor kit for improved amphibious capabilities, along with a new turret available in various configurations, featuring automatic cannons or machine guns. These upgraded vehicles are utilized by the Venezuelan Marine Corps.